I have a dishwasher Kenwood KDW60 by 10 it fails with code E1. It starts to fill OK then pauses and pumps out for about 10 seconds then carries on filling. It does this for about 4 cycles of taking in water pooming out, then the fault E1 occurs. Hi, I'm Daniel and I'll be helping you today I've been repairing white goods for 20 plus years and currently work for a well-known manufacturer. E1 error code is a filling fault. As water is going into the appliance then the control board isn't picking up the water is entering so that's why it's flashing the E1 error code. What you need to do is pull the dishwasher out and remove the right hand side panel. From there you should see the pressure switch. It will have a thin hose going too. Remove this hose and blow hard through it. Then blow up the pressure switch and see if it clicks. If it doesn't then the pressure switch is faulty. After blowing up the hose retry the dishwasher and see how it goes from there. If still the same then you need to check the wiring in the door loom but if that's okay then it's probably the control board. But check that pressure switch and hose as you may find it's just something to do with this. Let me know how you get on. Regards. Thanks for your answer. Will the pressure switch fault be what is causing the appliance to pump out whilst it should be filling? It seems to start the cycle with a short pump out then fills then pumps out a bit which triggers it to fill again, then pumps out a bit then fills again etc. until the E1 is triggered. Could it be that the machine fills then the motor starts and pumps out instead of jetting water around the inside of the machine? Steve Hi once it's filled with enough water the wash motor should kick and it shouldn't drain out. What if something goes wrong in the filling then it can overfill so then the safety side of the pressure switch kicks in to drain the water out otherwise it will flood everywhere if it card on filling. As when these fill it pushes air up a tube to the pressure switch so when enough water is in there the air will have activated the pressure switch and this tells the control board there is enough water in there to allow the cycle to carry on. So check that area as that's what usually goes wrong on these. Regards Thanks Daniel This is my daughter's machine. I will go there on Thursday and check the pressure switch. I will let you know how I get on. Steve Hi, I took the side panel off and blew through the pipe as advised. It seems clear. I then blew into the pressure switch and heard it click. I then tried the machine and the fault was the same. I disconnected the pipe and elevated it. Powered up the machine and it started to fill. After a time I blew into the pressure switch, it clicked and the machine stopped filling and started pumping out. Release the pressure on the switch and it switched to filling again. I have ordered a new switch. Do you think that will fix it? Hi okay it may do as you have ordered it fitted and see what happens and let me know. Regards Hi, I fitted the new pressure switch today. No change I am afraid. Any further advice? Steve Have you checked the wiring in the door loom to make sure none are broken? No, not yet. How do I get to the loom? Take the outer door panel off and you will see the wiring running down the door. Give them a tug as it runs down the bottom and see what you find. 
Hi Daniel. I have taken off the front panel and unwrapped the loom at the hinge. No problems, all wires are good. I suppose that it will be a new main board then? Hi, no broken wires. Any ideas about what I should check next? Hi, if the wiring is fine and the pressure switch and the water valve, then it's looking like it's the control board as there isn't much else in there it can be I'm afraid. Regards Well, I changed the control board, still the same. So I put the old one back in. I checked all the connections under the base of the machine and could find nothing loose. However the machine went through a complete cycle after that. Only the once though. Not sure where to go from here. It does seem like I disturbed something that made it work once only. I am not sure what loose wire would cause this fault. Hi okay very strange as all the parts have been replaced that controls the filling. It's got to be something to do with the wiring. Have you checked all the wiring under there? The wires from the water valve follow them up the door to the board and test the wires for continuity between them and see what you find. Will do. I will then go on to check continuity on all the rest of the wires. It is very strange because it does fill okay, and fairly quickly. But, when the pressure switch makes it pumps out a bit then refills. After three cycles of this it shows E1. I have noticed that the cycle always starts with a pump out before the fill. Not sure if this is normal? Hi yes all dishwashers start with a pump out it's called a sump swirl. Check the wires and see what you find but if okay then it could be a fault on the sump bowl but it's very rare this happens on new dishwashers. Regards Hi, sorry for the delay. I have now con checked all the wires. All are good. Any further ideas? What about the sump bowl? Can it be tested? Steve Hi you cannot test a sump bowl as it's just a plastic chamber. It can get blocked up but like I said it's very rare this happens. As all the parts have been checked and replaced that has anything to do with the filling I'm at a lose without being in there and seeing it. I will opt out and if another expert can think of something they will jump in. Regards Hello, I'm Michelle, and I'm moderator for this topic. It seems the professional has left this conversation. This happens occasionally, and it's usually because the professional thinks that someone else might be a better match for your question. I've been working hard to find a new professional to assist you right away, but sometimes finding the right professional can take a little longer than expected. I was checking to see if you had already found your answer or if you're still needing assistance from another one of the professionals. Please let me know if you wish to continue waiting or if you would like for us to close your question. Also remember that Just Answer has a multitude of categories to help you with all your needs from health, pets, computers, taxes, cars, finance, law, to home improvement, and more. Thank you, Michelle Moderator. Hi Michelle because of lack of response. I have paid again and started a new question string on the same topic. I am now working with a new expert Fred Blogs. By all means close this older question, if that means I will be refunded. 
Steve. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.